what's up guys welcome back to my channel so I am going to be showing you how I did a hijab with this red lace scarf from the muse look which by the way is local FYI yeah I got a few girls asking me how to do a hijab tutorial so I thought I'd do it the only thing is I don't really remember how I did it because I kind of was just playing around with it and it just happened so I'll try my best to replicate it again and yeah I hope you enjoy this video. So, I don't have a mirror, so I'm going to be looking in the viewfinder to do this. Um, so, I pretty much wear two undercats. One is this one here that it covers the bun. And I'm also wearing a voluminizer that I recently purchased on eBay for like $3 Australian. And then I'm wearing this one as well, which is from Hijab House. And I just find that it's just very secure and um, I've finally figured it out how to do my turban without it falling throughout the day. And yeah, as you can see, this is pretty much how far I started. And I obviously sh show a bit of hair. Please, Haram, please just keep your thoughts to yourself. It's between me and Allah. Anyway, so here is this beautiful scarf by the Muse look. And it's got lace detailing on both ends. There you go. I've got it halved already, which I pretty much do for all of my scarves. So I do a turban as I halve it. Let's go. So I get, well, this is pretty much standard for my turbans. Is I have the folded part sticking out, unless I want the other look. It just depends how I feel. I've got one small size and one long size, size, one long side, one short side and one long side. Um, before I continue, I need a drink because I'm thirsty. Yeah, so I don't really, this is always different, honestly. I, I guess people always say one third, I don't really know, but it's different. Anyway. So, I just cover it and I grab them both underneath and I cross over. I used to do a knot, but that didn't work out very well. And then eventually I just figured it out that it's better just to cross it over, like just swap it on both sides. And I try and keep it as tight as possible. I did do a YouTube hijab tutorial on my everyday turban a long time ago but I've changed it now because um, I figured it out that other style I was doing kept falling but now I figured it out so you know I might do an update as well for you guys maybe after this so I grab this because I want it tight as possible and I kind of hold it with my underarm um, and this is the part that was hard was to get that um, Actually, you know what, because when I didn't wear a headscarf, my fringe was always on this side. So I'm going to start again and make this part the short side. Because I'm pretty sure I did do that when I did, the, did it the first time. Um, it's really funny because my best friend, Jan, when... It would always work out for us when we took selfies because my good side was this side and her good side was that side. So it worked out really well. It was so funny. Okay. There you go. So weird doing it this way. Okay. So now this is the hard part. It might even be different to the way I did it the first time. But I literally... So like, you want to position it right, I mean, because you were going to use the side to hide the mess at the top anyway, so it doesn't really matter what happens on the top, it's just you want to get the front part right. Okay, I think this is looking a little bit familiar now. So you just 
do it to however you're liking is I might do it like that and I want to keep it as low as possible and then you're gonna to need to get safety pins, bobby pins, whatever your jam is and I have this extra piece here and it actually reaches underneath my bun so I'm gonna tuck that in there so if you've, got, if you've got that excess material at the back here on this side, on your right hand side or whatever side that you've decided to have the lace and it reaches under your turban, under your bun, then tuck it in and then here you just want to fix it as well I can't see so I'm going to lift it up a little bit more so that means I might bring that a little bit more too so that means I'm going to cut this out and I'm going to go underneath this part. Uh, and then I just want to fix it. Then this part here, just wrap it around your bun. And I'm going to go under this again, just because that's just kind of what I do for my standard turban anyway. As I go underneath this, I'll find that it's just better. And more secure and I'm just gonna find this part and tuck it in but it's quite loose so I am going to pin it and I'm just gonna use a small one because you're gonna hide it anyway but if you want to use a straight pin go for it but I prefer to use these where it's visible not in the back because I am afraid of stabbing myself and that's why it's good to wear a um, under cap as well because then you can ha have that extra security. Because if you don't wear one then, it's, I don't know, I just prefer to wear one but you know, you don't have to wear it. And there's, just don't worry too much about what's going on because this is going to go over it anyway. And now you just want to like fix it and then just, if you want to fold it you can. Which I do sometimes, but let's just do it this way because I like a messy look. And then you just want to go over it like a like normal. And I like the messy look. Mm -hmm. And then, so normally I would hide this underneath the top, like the first layer, but because it's different. It, I'm just going to tuck it underneath my bun. And it looks a little bit different. I see that, just fix it, just tuck it in. And if you want extra security, which is what I always do, is I grab a um, straight pin and just put it anywhere. It doesn't really matter where. And that's it. Now you've got yourself a really pretty lace fringe. Cool. Now you can wear earrings if you want. And I just recently got gifted these earrings from Ruby. So I'm going to put these on. Because I've actually been wanting to take a photo with this. Um headscarf again because the ones I took in Perth weren't that great there's only like three that were good because I started it took me so long to get the turban that by the time I got it right the, it was like sun, like the sun was setting so I didn't really have really good lighting that looks nice it's a little bit bulky but you know This is why I shouldn't be allowed to do hijab tutorials because I'm not that great at them. I literally wear the same thing, the same turban every single day. But I've got to give credit to myself because the hit. What is going on? <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, here it is. Um, most of my hijab styles is I got it from Dino Tokyo. And this one I came out with myself, so 
Boom. I know how to do hit jobs. <laughs> I wish. But yeah. So that's it guys. That is how I did that red turban. Tag me if you end up doing this and uploading it on Facebook or Insta no not Facebook. Instagram. I'd love to see it. Um, and it it's just nice to see that people want me to do hit tutorials and I really thought I'd see the day. So yeah, I'm really I this turned out really great and I liked that I came up with it myself. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna take some photos because it looks good. I really like this. I should wear it to an event one time. I have it in a different colour too, similar to this but a little bit darker, which is really nice. Um but I did a different style for that. Um, but I really wanted to, because there's some red roses outside, so I'm going to go grab some and take photos with that because I think it would be really sick. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to tag me in your Instagram pics if you do end up doing this. I really hope that I made sense. I never make sense. I mumble and I stutter and, yeah, that's just who I am. Um, yeah, great. Thanks, guys. Bye.